Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shayla. If this is your first time here, I know I'm back to black. Back to black hair. You know what? I get I get bored. I get sick of my hair color, but black is definitely like I always fall back to black, you know. The honey color, the blonde is like a summer thing, but it's it's basically winter, so we're gonna have black hair, and I think I like it short. I don't know, at least that's what you guys are making me feel like because the comments about my hair being short compared to being long are, it's like night and day. So today's video is a fun one, is a special one. Um, I'm gonna be showing you the new collection from KKW Times Winnie Harlow. Look at the PR box. And I'm just really happy that she picked Winnie. If you guys don't know Winnie, she is a supermodel. She's a super duper model. She's like killing it right now. I actually ran into her at the Laquan Smith show. Uh, she was walking or closing out um, Laquan Smith New York Fashion Week. And that's like a big deal. If you're like the last model down the runway and you're closing out the show, you pop in. So she's just really having an amazing year, amazing couple years. And I just think this collection's so pretty. I mean, the packaging is cute, but I'm gonna show you like the actual collection. It's real cute. All right, so in this collection, there is a 12 pan eyeshadow palette. You can see it here. It comes with two transition colors, a matte kind of cranberry color, um, just a lot of metallics. And I feel like this is a palette that you can really get a daytime look out of. You can get a colorful look out of. Uh, you could get a nighttime look out of uh, my first impression is is that it's really pretty I think that these are just colors that you can wear every day And I feel like you can wear every single color in here or at least I can and that's what for me determines like okay Do we like the palette? Can I wear every single color and it's kind of like yes Like I can see myself even traveling with this palette by itself because it has a wide range of everything um, I think it's just a well put together palette of course you guys know I wish there were the names here. So like when I'm, but really I feel like it's like if you're a YouTuber and you're trying to explain something, that's the only reason you need to know the names. I know you guys don't really care about it. Okay, Winnie and KKW, they're also launching a highlighter duo, which comes with a light. This almost looks like, on camera it just looks really light, but it's almost like a pink with a gold uh, iridescence to it. And then this is like a copper, Almost like a coppery rose gold highlighter. I'll probably mix the two to get the color that I like. And this also comes with a mirror. This is the packaging. Um, I like that this pa palette, but <laughs> I like that this collection isn't super large. Like, I don't wanna say I hate large collections, but kind of, it's like, I don't wanna have to pick between like 10 products. I like it to be super small, straight to the point. All right, and Winnie is also coming out with three lip glosses. You can see there's kind of like a nude, a peachy, and then almost like a pink tone, even though on me, I feel like they look a little bit more sheer. So I feel like if you're gonna like get one, I feel like any of these will work. Uh, I will actually, I kind of like this one the best, the one in the middle, but you know what I mean? It's more of like a sheer gloss you can put on top of a lipstick or even wear by itself. So the KKW Times Winnie collection comes out on the 13th, day before my birthday, Friday the 13th, the day before my birthday. Um, and I just think you guys are gonna love the eyeshadow palette. I mean, we already know the KKW formula for the eyeshadow, so I don't wanna say like, oh, let's see how it works. It's like, you know, the colors are gonna look good. Everything's gonna be popping. Um, I'm just super happy for Winnie. Um, she's super sweet. She deserves all this and more. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I feel like it would be super predictable for me to put these two in the crease and like one of these on the lid. So what I think we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with this in the crease and then I'm gonna put the red in the crease because I don't do that very often and I just love this color. I think it's just dope. So we're gonna start with this light brown here in the crease first. I always like to have a transition color that's similar to my skin tone or at least the same shade. So we're gonna put this in the crease first. And I do have concealer all over my lid. I always use concealer as an eyeshadow base. Sometimes I'll use like a P. Louise eyeshadow base or regular eyeshadow base. Um, but for the most part, I'm like into just wearing concealer. All right, next we're gonna go in with this, should we call it cranberry shade? I feel like that color is called Ruby. And we're gonna put this in the crease. I'm just gonna start with like a little bit and then gradually add more because I'm not sure how this is gonna look. I'm like, let me just be careful. Okay, yeah. Barely put in here. So when I was younger, I used to want to be a supermodel. 
and I don't think it was because I wanted to like walk the runway or anything. I don't know. I think maybe I just thought of models as like pretty girls and you know, it was cool that they're on magazines. So when I was younger, I was like, oh, maybe I'm a model. Like I wish I could be a model type thing. Um, but now I'm like, oh heck no. Going to these shows, watching them walk down the runway. Oh no. No, 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 my clumsy butt, uh-uh, I would fall, like, I don't know, that's, it's so nerve-wracking, like, whenever I see models walk down the runway, I'm just like, oh my god, don't fall, oh my god, don't fall, oh my god, it's just, there's, like, everyone's watching you, and I just feel like I'm too clumsy for that, you know, and I wasn't really blessed with the height, so, <laughs> so I'm just, like, blending this out, and I'm just gonna keep dipping into Ruby and gradually add more. I always like to start with, like, a small amount and then build on that instead of starting with a lot and trying to blend it out. That's just, like, my technique, and it kind of, I don't know, it just works. And then you don't have any, like, fallout under here either. All right, a little bit later, I want to smoke out the outer corner, but I think... We're gonna do something different. We're gonna go with the gold. I feel like it would be very predictable for me to do this. So we're gonna go with the gold all over the lid and then the lighter color kind of on the inner rim here. So this gold is called, oh wait, Supernova, I think. I probably have all the names mixed up, but you know, it's the palette. It's the palette. When I used to work at MAC, we would always put like a purpley color um, in the crease with a gold on the lid like this was like the look, you know, it's crazy You think they wouldn't match but they're kind of like complementary colors. That's why they look so good next to each other Hmm. Ooh. I always do my makeup with a paper towel down with my brushes on top of it So I'm just gonna wipe off my flat brush on my paper towel and then dip into this shade here and then apply it on the inside of my eye just to create like a little highlight. All right, so these two shades here probably look similar on camera. This is almost more like a gunmetal. This is like a black with gold fleck. So I'm gonna smudge this on the outer corner of the lid and a little bit in the crease. Almost like, just like a little U or V shape right here. And then I'm gonna grab my fluffy brush and just kind of blend this out. All right, so I'm gonna apply the same colors I applied in the crease under my lash line, starting with this kind of ruby shade here. This one right here. And I'm just gonna smudge this under my lash line. All right, I'm gonna smudge the black shade here that's obsidian underneath the lash line, but I'm only gonna go halfway across. Ooh, nice and blended. I'm gonna line my eyes with the Dosa Colors Black Shady Gel Eyeliner. My eyeliner is definitely about to die on me. You know when you get to the end of the container and it's just like thick, you know, and you're just scraping the bottom off? That's what's happening here. I'm just smudging the outer corner. All right, I'm gonna add some Lily Lashes in Miami, which are kind of like wispy and long. They're just like my favorite lash, honestly. I feel like you can make them look dramatic or you can make them look slightly more natural. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna put these on and then after the lash dries, I'm gonna add mascara um, and possibly curl them. All right, while these are drying, I'm gonna apply the highlighter. I want you guys to see what the lighter color looks like. So maybe I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose, just a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of light. So I'm gonna mix the two. I'm gonna start with this bronzy color and then just barely dip in the lighter color Let's see here oh yeah oh yeah I definitely like the more gold bronzy gold shade Ooh. oh yeah that's cute I just like to put highlighter all over really <laughs> put a little bit right here with my finger Ooh. Glowy. I'm gonna add my ColourPop Construct blush only because I don't want like a lot of color on my cheeks. I want it to look more like a contour, like a bronze contour. See right here. Whenever I have like a lot of colors on the eyes, even though it's like not super bright, but whenever I have a lot of color on the eyes, I don't like my cheeks to have a lot of color. I feel like I look like a clown or something. So I always do neutral cheeks and with a colorful eye or even a smoky eye. All right, let's curl these lashes. So the the glue is pretty much dry right now and I'm gonna curl my natural lash and the false lash together. And you can see it just like 
wakens up the eye a little bit. So you could add a little bit of mascara or a lot depending on how dramatic you want it. I think I'm gonna add a lot because why not? Why not? This is the Lancome Monsieur mascara. And I'm just putting my finger there so the mascara doesn't get on my eyeshadow. Ooh, see that? <laughs> I mean, I guess it doesn't look that much different from this one, but it kind of does, like it's popping, popping. Of course, always add mascara to the bottom lashes. And I really just kind of lather it on down here. I like my bottom lashes to be super thick and aggressive, yeah. All right, since these are pretty sheer, I'm just gonna pick one. I think I'm gonna do the pink shade, but first I'm gonna line my lips with my ColourPop BFF3 lip liner. And I'm gonna fill in my lip with a lip liner because I'm not gonna wear um, lipstick, just a gloss. Should I do the lighter color? <laughs> no, we'll do the pink. I feel like the, like we know this is gonna look good. That's why I don't wanna put it on because I feel like that's predictable. This one, okay, let's just put one on the bottom, one on the top. See how it's like pretty sheer? This is Aura and it's like a sheer with silver and gold. Uh, shimmer in it. Maybe I do need to put lipstick on because this might be too dark. And this is the pink. I mean, they're pretty much clear, so it's fine. <laughs> Should I do a little bit lighter? Do we like this brown lip? I kind of like this. Okay, we're going to keep that. So I just mixed two of the glosses together. Mm. Oh, this is real cute. Hmm. All right, guys, here is the finished look. I mean, it's cute. Like, she's real cute. As soon as I got the pure package, Right away, as soon as I opened it, I knew it was gonna be good. Just just the colors that Winnie picked out uh, for the palette are just, this is everything, okay? This is, this is all we need right up in here. Um, I really don't have anything bad to say about the collection. I love the highlighter. Like I love how it's like a copper, but it has a little bit of a rose gold tint to it that I feel like you could see a little bit more in person. Um, the glosses are pretty sheer, so it's like you can't, you can't not like them. It's just a, a sheer top coat. Um, I think it's just a really nice collection. I think you guys are gonna like it. Definitely get the eyeshadow palette. Like if you were to get one thing, I would say get the palette. You're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna love it. Um, yeah, it's cute. She real cute. She real cute. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And last but not least, strut and slay.